Richo, I decided to do my vegan fluffy pancakes. Nice. So I've got a little bit of apple cider vinegar, nice. vanilla extract, and I'd love you to put a cup of soy milk using Adrian's that. measuring cup in my, there. My, my approved measuring cup that yes. will be accurate to the uh, <laughs> Available the in stores next year. There we go. Um, so I've just got a little bit of wholemeal flour here as well. Now, I said fluffy, so I am doing it in a sieve, and I have a little bit of a baking powder as well. Nice, so nice. what we want to do is just make sure they go nicely in there. If you could just plop that coconut sugar when you're done with that vanilla I extract that. as well. So we just want to aerate to make sure that we get that. Do that you want fluff. coconut sugar straight in there? Yes, please. Good. Yes, please. I'm going to do a little pinch of salt here as well. So nice Murray River salt flakes in there. Nice. Um, just mix that one up. Now, of course, now we add the wet to the dry. That's the one, making sure we get that lovely vanilla extract there. I love it. I can smell it already. It sounds gorgeous. And that's it. Now, you can actually whisk this one, because what I've got here is a beautiful, my Swiss Diamond non-stick pan. Now, of course, with a non-stick, you don't always need to use oil, but I am going to use a little bit of coconut oil, because not only will it make my pancakes taste delicious, but it just needs a tiny little bit of greasing to make sure we get that nice flip. So I've got my lovely ladle here, and all we really need is just one ladle's worth. Now, don't go too crazy. What I want you to do, a nice hot pan, make sure it's nice and hot. On we go. Nice. So a little bit more of a kind of a, a pikelet style, rather than the thin nice. uh, Shrove Tuesday like we have in England. So I just want you to keep your eye on it. They really only need a few seconds on each one to make sure it goes nice and golden. You will know that they're ready to flip when the little bubbles start bubbling. Absolute perfection. Now they are a little bit darker just because I used that wholemeal flour, so I'm just oh. going to lay these up. Now, pancakes are a beautiful way when you're making them at home to show off your personality. And you could do that by what I like to call toppers, which we're getting quite used to now, which is grab whatever you like and sprinkle it on. So, of course, we've got some lovely strawberries here. So, what we'll do is we'll just scatter a few of those on. I've got some maple syrup. Can I pour that on? Yeah, go there for we it. Look at that maple syrup over the top because you have to have plenty of maple syrup on top of pancakes. And apparently vegans don't eat honey as well. They don't eat honey. They believe that the honey is for the bees. And what I would love to do is just add a little bit of peanut butter. Good, gorgeous peanut butter. <laughs> you know what? It looks really nice. It looks like a nice stack of normal pancakes. It doesn't look vegan at all. Does it, in does fact, it? Here you go, Richo. Here's a regular stack of pancakes. 25 eggs in there. I there would is, not Richo. Have, have a go. <laughs> 25 <laughs> eggs. I would probably say, though, Rosie, is where's the ice cream? Because I do like ice cream with my pancakes. There we go. Let's have a little taste. A little bit of that peanut butter, too. You know what? This is the first time I've eaten vegan food that it actually has had a bit of flavour. And I'm only saying a bit of flavour because the maple soup is what's brought it together. <laughs> it is really nice. It's actually gorgeous and I love the peanut butter with it and I love the maple soup and I'm being very polite. I think I've converted him.